something. What are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? It was cold. Really cold. Just a normal day in San Francisco. But I was about to get warm. Really warm. I'm part native Hawaiian, along with a bunch of other shit that I'm proud to be. So I have family over in Hawaii, mostly on Oahu. Let's just say I get a huge ass discount. There's a program known as Kamehameha Camp Schools where only people with Hawaiian blood can attend and learn about their culture and ancestry. Sadly, I forgot most of it. Wish I had retained it, but when you're in paradise, you tend to forget. I had been accepted to this program for the summer for the second time out of a total of four sessions. And the programs take place on different islands and locations, so this year I was lucky enough to go to Molokai. I was traveling alone to Hawaii this time. I was scared as shit, let me tell you. I met another kid though when we talked about video games and books because that's what strangers do. Five hours go by, and I get off the plane and my aunt and uncle suit me at the airport. At the time they were living there and their wedding was coming up soon, but I was coming home, or coming before my family because of the camp, you know, family struggles. But they arrived a week after I did. Anyways, the camp was fun and all, like I said, I forget the songs like four weeks later, but I still know little it's in bits. Anyways, the camp isn't the main part of my story. It is the experiences leading up to the excitement of that. Have you ever had shaved ice? Well, you're missing the hell out. There's a place in Palola Valley where my on 10th Street in the valley. It's a normal little restaurant with shaved ice on the side, but it, what makes it so damn good is the syrup. It's like they shoved a mango down a syrup blender and it came out of an angel's ass. Yeah, but uh, jokes aside, it tastes like dead ass mango. Or after I was insanely refreshed, I wanted to do what was at the top of my list. Go to the ocean. But I noticed something. My Uncle Mike was bringing a surfboard. <laughs> Not just one or two, but three. It was my Uncle Mike, Auntie Blythe, and me. So I knew something was up since there was only three of us. I asked him. Hey Uncle, why do you have three boards? He responded with, because you're going to try to surf today. <laughs> we start heading out, but my Uncle Davey shows up, and they invite him along since he is Uncle Mike's brother. And I, I rush towards the water with my board, eagerly trying to get in the water. <laughs> my uncle stops me. Hold up, dude. We gotta walk, wax the board first. Why? I ask. For grip, of course. Duh, I thought. But he waxes us up. And we paddle out towards the deep water because that is where the big waves are and where they break. He gave a tutorial that went like this. <laughs> One, spot the wave and see if it's worth it, like it'll carry you. Two, position yourself to the wave facing the opposite direction and be ready to paddle. Three, paddle fast enough to stay with the wave and let the wave carry you from here on out. And four, stand up quickly if you can after catching a wave without falling off and then you're good. So I followed his rules and it was actually really hard since I was 10 to 11 and surfing is a good workout. So it was challenging indeed. But I finally spotted one. The wave was beautiful. Paddling way earlier, struggling to turn around, but still going ham. I'm going and going with go Christian, go, go, go in the background and the wave is creeping up fast. And next thing I know, the wave is right behind me with its scary yet peaceful roar ready to take a bite, <laughs> but I'm going fast, faster than before. I did it, I really did it. I thought, and I'm drifting on the waves and suddenly I remember to stand up. I push my upper body up and fling my legs forward like a slingshot and I slip. Slipped right off the damn board and into the water, but man was that a rush. I wanted to do it again. But when you don't wear a rash guard, you get pretty fucked up. My nips were scabbed. My whole stomach was red and scabbed because of all the friction. But I was happy and that's all that mattered. They were proud of me as I cooled my scabs in the cold oceanic water. I swam back instead and took an amazing nap that night. Oh shit, 
The wedding. I thought, remembering the family coming soon. I was a ring bearer, and my sister Alyssa was a flower girl. I started a circle, and they were all dancing, and I go in and start doing the stereotypical dances of the legend himself, and stole a fedora from some dude I didn't even know. Well, it was time to go, looking like the Kool-Aid man with more bronzish color, but ready to go home. Hawaii is fun and all, but it wasn't home. It is more enjoyable with your whole family because your family is your home, and so is your friends and daily routine. But nice to spice it up every now and then. Who knows? I say my goodbyes and kisses and hugs, appreciating everything they did for us, snatching spam moose before the plane ride back. I leave this paradise to return to my cold, comforting home. Bye.